previously on Nick Badley. We're doing something I've been wanting to do for quite a while, and that is a disused railway line. Low-level platforms, which you can see through the fence in this car park that I'm currently in. I'm actually currently at the location of the former Warrington Art Police Station. That point on, the line is properly closed. But what caused it to close to freight in 1985 specifically? Well, that would be thanks to this absolute behemoth right here. The Latchford Viaduct. So there's uh, probably not ideal filming weather at the moment. I'll be back when the rain lets up. So the rain did finally clear up. Well, for the most part, the weather can't really make up its mind still, but either way, it's better now. And also, I have a bike on me now, which is going to be useful for this upcoming part. So the remainder of the line from here goes up this path and follows along the Transpennine Trail, right along the track bed. And it's pretty much perfect for being a cycle route. So, and also it's very long, it's about 10 miles. So this is gonna be needed if I'm to get home again from here in good time. A nice thing they have here for the Transpennine Trail is right here, they've actually got a um, poster with some of the history about the line on here, which, um, I mean, I don't know how many people read that, but it's really nice to see this on here and it's, uh, Got a handy little bit of information about the line. So anyway, enough dilly-dally. Let's hop on the bike and go to the next station. So as I just mentioned, this uh, trail here, well, part of the Transpennine Trail, is now right along the old track alignment and the track bed. So uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. We're now following the line perfectly. Hello sheep, how are you doing on this fine day? So here we are now at the site of the first uh, station along, uh, well, this part of the Transpennine Trail anyway. So um, this is the location of the former Fellwall station, which closed in 1956. And then of course, still had passenger services coming to and from until 1962. And something also worth pointing out is the fact that this is the first station now that we've come across where the station building has also been preserved. So this here, of course, would have been the station building. And of course, I'm standing on right now, basically, what were the platforms. This would have been the Warrington Liverpool bound platform. So yeah, it's really cool. Just like trains were here once and now they're not. I mean, it's a shame, but just, it's, it's really cool. It's really cool. So, well, that's uh, Fellwall station. So shall we continue along? Safety first. Another creepy bridge over nothing. Ooh. So this part of the trail does a little bit of a snaking around and not exactly following the track alignment because it has to work around the Fellwall Viaduct. Yeah. Um, that's a bit annoying. I, uh, well, we would be back on the track alignment after here, but uh, I guess we'll have to follow whatever this diversion is. Wish I'd known about that before I came here. All right, so the diversion, good news, hasn't actually made me skip off any of the uh, stations we need, so uh, we're good, thankfully. So, here it is, the location of the former Statham Crossing. And look, even up there on the house, on the original station house, it's still got the original Statham Crossing text in the original British Rail sign. I love it. All right, well, we are back on the trail now, so let's continue. And if I'm not mistaken, the next station is right around here. So here, at the location of what looks just like a ranger service, is actually the location of the former Lim Station. Also, the uh, Lim Hotel used to be right here, but unfortunately they demolished it and turned it into apartments for 
some reason, I don't know why. So Lim Station was, yes, of course, closed in 1962 and was demolished, but the original station house does survive. So, moving on. This bit of the trail right here has been all resurfaced and nice. Huh. Well, I mean, at least I won't be getting any muddier than this. Ugh. has gone all muddy again. Oh. So here we are at the site of the next station, Heatley and Warburton. Now this is probably one of the first stations we've come across I think that has actually still a little bit of platform remnants left which is really nice. I'm really glad that at least one of the stations has them. So yeah, Heatley and Warburton Station closed in 1962 and a couple of the station buildings do remain. You'll realise I'm probably sounding like a bit of a stuck record at this point and that's basically because these facts are pretty much basically the same for every single station that we have left. So, of course, next station. There's the River Bolin, the uh, Cheshire-Greater Manchester border. New station, Dunham Massey Station, and, well, you can probably guess what I'm going to say at this point, closed in 1962, and the station house is still here. Something that I will point out, though, is the gates here. Are they meant to look like a train? Because I think they do. But it, it's just borderline. I just can't quite tell. That is done and messy done. So let's go to the final station. So it may look like, right now, that I'm on just a random road that is also apparently closed because, um, well, uh, but if you look from up there, you'll be able to see that this road exactly follows the original track alignment. But anyway, the uh, end of the line is within arm's reach at this point. So, believe it or not, behind me here is the site of the original Broadheath station, which is the last station along the line here. And, well, you know, closed in 1962. There is, unfortunately, basically no trace of the station left. But it was here, and the only real indication that there is, is a pub that is called The Railway. How fitting. So there is one thing that I have left to mention, and that is right here, and that is the remains of a viaduct that would carry the railway over the Bridgewater Canal. And then after here, after going over the Bridgewater Canal, it joins back up with the railway that is currently in service today. And the next stop, I believe, would have been Timperley. But, you know, that's all Manchester Metrolink now. And here we are now at the canal where the viaduct here would have crossed the canal and carried on to Timperley Station from here and gone all the way into Manchester. But there you go. That is the entire Warrington to Altrincham Junction Railway. I am knackered. It's just begun to uh, properly rain as well, so this was good timing. So yes, thank you for watching this video. This was definitely something different from the uh, usual stuff I tend to make, but let me know if you enjoyed it and if there's any more of this that you would like to see because it was interesting filming something like this for a change. I liked it. So anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, if you'd like to know whenever I upload any new videos, please do consider subscribing. Would mean a lot. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. And a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. And a warm welcome to my new standard premium patron, Anthony Clark.